Alzheimer's runs in my family. Should I get tested for APOE4 or just continue to do all I can to prevent Alzheimer's? I'm afraid to know. Well, so first of all, it's okay. If you're afraid to know and you don't want to know, that's okay. But I never push anyone, I would never push anyone to get tested. But to me, genes are not our destiny. We can win the tug of war against our genes. APOE4, one or more copies, does not mean you're going to get Alzheimer's. You can have two copies of APOE4 and never get Alzheimer's. You can have no copies of APOE4 and absolutely get Alzheimer's. Does APOE4 increase your risk a little bit? Sure. But people that have one copy of E4, if they do everything right, they exercise, they eat well, they have their cholesterol, their blood pressure is perfect, their blood sugar is great, they don't drink alcohol, they don't smoke, I think 70, 80, 90% of that APOE4 induced risk can be neutralized by making the right lifestyle choices. I really, and controlling medical risk factors. When someone has two copies of E4, okay, yeah, it increases your risk a little bit, but just by changing to a Mediterranean style diet, you can reduce your risk of dementia by 35%. And then you add an exercise and sleep hygiene and, and stress mitigation. So I believe that knowing your genetics and knowing your genes is empowering. And the reason that um, you know we created all these you know free online tools, retainyourbrain.com, when you sign up, you can type in if you know your ApoE4. And if you type in, if you have one or more copies of E4, and you know, people do this on 23andMe, people have done this in from their doctors, we do this in our research study. If you go in and you type in APOE, what, what you have, the software will put you down the right path for you. And that's the, the, the element here, precision medicine or personalized care. Um, different people with different genes need different therapies. Mrs. Smith, well, she just went through perimenopause and she has this set of genes. She may need therapies A, B, and C. But Mrs. Mr. Jones, well, he's he's a man that's different, different genes, different risk factors. He's got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, big belly, belly size gets larger, the memory center in the brain gets smaller. He needs therapies X, Y, and Z. So to me, we need to know APOE. But if anyone out there doesn't want to know, no problem. It's not a big deal. But to me, knowledge is power.